Welcome to this Windows channel and today in a video where we're going to talk about crapware. What is crapware? Well, crapware is not in the malware department. It's not a virus, but it's something that is often pre-installed on a computer from a big brand computer. Uh, you know, Toshiba, HP, Dell, they all want to put crapware because it lowers the price of your PC. Actually, um, one of the companies that's probably the worst with that is HP. Um, you know, your PC, when you paid a certain price to buy your laptop or desktop, if it's from a major computer brand, well, it will come pre-installed with, you know, antivirus software that's good for 30 days, all sorts of backup and all sorts of software and games now you know you can remove all of that and this video is to explain a little bit what you can do to actually you know go around your computer and remove that crapware stuff that's pre-installed so you got your new computer at home or maybe you have it for a while but you're not really sure what can I remove and what can't I remove well Take a look, first of all, at your desktop. Very often there are on the desktop a lot of stuff that are really useless. Um, here on my computer, I've removed the crapware pretty much that was with the computer. So anything that is antivirus, you turn on your computer for the first time, you will have a trial of the antivirus. Um, you know, it is probably v more often than not that the software they put for viruses and firewall are 30 60 or 90 days and then you'll have to pay so why not remove you know that McAfee or Norton um, you know of course unless you really want it but usually you know what you can remove that and as a solution to replace well you've got if you search for it in your windows by clicking uh, in the charms bar or you know if you're on their start screen you can click and search for defender which is the windows defender it's the antivirus that is included in windows 8 so the first thing that you might want to do is remove that antivirus software that they've pre-installed basically and uh, you know why not just use windows defender um, it's a good antivirus and uh, you know it uh, does the job unless you really need something more powerful uh, because a paid antivirus is of course uh, better than a free one other types of software that you might want to check for are backup type software so anything that says uh, you know PC backup or Norton backup or maybe you know whatever company um, that ha offers a backup solution to your software so what you can do is first of all check the icons on your desktop and if you see anything called you know my PC backup or uh, Norton backup or anything that has the word backup you can you know right click in the start button at the bottom left go into programs and features this is where you'll see the list of the major pieces of software that are installed so here's where you'll uninstall your antivirus for example here is where you'll uninstall anything that's called backup that you might not uh, use at all um, any type of gaming software that you might have a lot of computers come with you know pre-installed games and pre-installed networks of games you can remove all of that from the list here on your computer Another thing that you might check for is on your start screen. Those tiles on the start screen, um, a lot of apps that are pre-installed will show up on the start screen also. So anything that is a game, uh, anything that's a game network, anything that's antivirus, anything that's backup, uh, all of those little things can be removed most of the time. And you know what? Crapware is a, a big problem because it already at the start when you just bought your PC slows down your computer so you want to remove the maximum amount of that crapware but if you're not sure what's good or not 
What you could do, and the example that I'll give you, is let's say we go to the programs and features, and we go through the list and you say, okay, mm, what is a uh, Realtek WLAN driver? Now, this is a driver for the wireless internet, but you know what? If you don't know what it is, you can go to Google and just type the name and say, what is, what is Realtek uh, WLAN driver? Ask the question and it's going to tell you, should I remove it or not? And here's a discussion on is it good, is it not good. Another thing that's pretty cool is this piece of software that I'm going to show you here that's called Should I Remove It or Not. This is an interesting f program. You can download for free. And it's going to actually detect what is on your computer and tell you should you or should you not remove it. So you download the piece of software and you install it as I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you how it works. So should I remove it? You do the setup, you accept the license, make sure it doesn't install any other things that you don't want. So a desktop icon, start menu, that's okay. Install. This piece of software is interesting because it actually has a list of everything that is useful and will actually give you suggestions on should you remove it, should you keep it, and give you also details of what type of software it is, which is always interesting. A lot of computers come with uh, crapware, and you know, basically, if you've got a Dell, a Toshiba, a Lenovo, um, and so an Acer, um, you know, all these computers have, unfortunately some form of crapware pre-installed and this is a big problem and that's why Microsoft actually has um, a program where you can actually buy premium PCs without crapware on it but you know PCs that have no crapware will typically be a little more expensive because all of these companies pay for the uh, added bonus of being on your computer because they want to try to make money. So here we go. It's uh, should I remove it? Piece of software is now scanning my computer and it's gonna give me a general idea of okay, is it good or not? And you see that it gives color codes. So it's gonna tell you what's good and what's not depending on what you have on your computer. And that's cool. So you can check it out. Everything that's red, you know, that is gonna tell you should you or should you not remove it is written in that list and this is what's gonna really keep uh, your computer going so if you're not sure what to remove why not scan it with should I remove it or not and this is gonna give you a great idea of really what you should do with that piece of software if you enjoyed our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen if you have maybe a suggestion of a video or something you'd like us to talk about why not ask away and we'll try to post that video online uh, if you've got that new windows 8 computer we have lots and lots of videos to show you how it works so why not check them out and maybe learn more about Windows 8. So thank you for watching.